Hey guys, Arbor here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 3 Lesson 1 Homework. This is the first lesson of Module 3 for Grade 5. So let's get started. Number 1, use the folded paper strip to mark um, points 0 and 1 above the number line and 0 thirds, 1 third, 2 thirds, and 3 thirds below it. Alright, so 0 would be all the way over here at the very start, and 1 would be right here. So now 0 thirds, this would be 0 thirds, and actually 1, instead of 1, it would be 3 thirds, because 3 over 3 is 1. And now a little but not quite halfway, but this much would be one third, and this much, it's not really spaced yet. This much would be two thirds. So zero thirds, one thirds, two thirds, three thirds. So we went from zero to one. Now it says draw two vertical lines to break each rectangle into thirds. Shade the left third of each. Partition with horizontal lines to show equivalent fractions. Use multiplication to show the change in the unit. All right, so two vertical lines. Vertical means up and down. So each rectangle. Um, that is very uneven. So two lines. And the left third of each. So the left side. We're only shading the left side. No more. No. Alright. So now it says part with horizontal lines. So what that means is, so here we have one-third, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna split horizontal, I mean like left to right, right to left, gonna split it in the middle. So now we have two sections of three. One, two, three, one, two, three. So that means instead of one-third, we have one-third times two times two. That's because now we have two groups. So we're multiplying two on each side. So one times two is two and three times two is six. So two six is equal because now we have two shaded n out of six total little squares or rectangles. And this is equal because we're multiplying both the denominator and the numerator by two. If we were only to multiply like one side by two and the other side, pretend we leave it as it was, then um, our fraction at the end would not be equal. So it's very important that we multiply both um, the numerator and the denominator, denominator by the number. Now this one, let's do two lines horizontally. So now one third, go to one third, so like they have a bar here, times one, two, three, because now we have three sections. One times three is three, three times three is nine. So we have three shaded out of nine. So that is our equivalent fraction. Now this one, we're gonna do four, one third equals one third times one, two, three, four, because now we have four sections, which is four over 12. That means we have four over 12 shaded in. Now this one we have, oh, wow, that just broke. Okay, so now we have one third equals one third times one, two, three, four, five, because we have five sections now, which is five over 15. That means we have five out of the 15 tiles shaded in. 
Next, number two, use a folded paper strip to mark points zero and one above the number line and zero fourth, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths below it. Follow the same pattern as problem one, but with fourths. So again, here we have zero or zero out of four, and here we have one or four out of four, just one. Zero out of four, we can first separate this. So here we have one fourth, and moving on the way up, we have two fourths, three fourths, and then four fourths. So let's split all of these into vertical, straw three vertical lines. So we separate them all into fourths. Okay, now shade one of the left side. Alright, now, so first we have one fourth equals one fourth times. So we're just going to draw one line first horizontally. So now we have two sections. So times two on both sides, the numerator and the denominator. So now we have two over eight. That means we have two out of the eight tiles shaded in. Now this one, it's one fourth holes. Type we're gonna do two lines. So we separate it into three sections. That means we're doing times three equals three out of 12, let's shade it in. And next, we're gonna do three lines now. So one, four, one, two, three, four sections now, so times four, equals four out of 16 that are shaded in. And this one, we have One fourth equals one fourth times. Now we have one, two, three, four, five sections. So it's going to be times five, which is five out of 20. All right, next page. Number three says continue the pattern with four fifths. So fifths, let's see, we have zero. And this will be one, so five over five. We have see. So here we have zero fifths, one fifth, two fifth, three fifths, and four fifths, five fifths. So let's split all these into four fifths. So fifths, we draw four lines. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And four fifths, that's four out of the five shaded in. So we have this much shaded in and for all of them. All right, so now we have four fifths equals four or five times. We're gonna start off by drawing one line horizontally. So now we have two sections. So times two times two equals eight out of 10 that are shaded in. Next, we're gonna move on to two lines. Four fifths equals four over five times one, two, three sections equals 12 over 15 that are shaded in. And now 
this one we're gonna draw three lines. So four fifths. Oh. Equals. And then there's a bar. One, two, three, four sections. Equals 16 out of 20. So we have 16 out of 20 that are shaded in. And this one we would be drawing four lines. One, two, three, four. Four over five equals four fifths times one, two, three, four, five sections equals 20 out of 25. All right, so now number four, continue the process and model two equivalent fractions for nine eighths. Estimate, estimate to mark the points on the number line. So nine over eight, that is more than one, but our number line will only go to one, eight out of eight. So let's first draw that. This would be zero out of eight. This would be like one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths. This is not really well spread out. It's okay. But where are we gonna put nine eighths? So we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is extend it a little bit. And here we have nine eighths because this much is one. So we have to extend it, keep going to go more than one. And for this, we're gonna separate them into eighths. not really well spaced out but you guys can do a draw two three four five six seven eight and this one two middle one two three four five six seven eight so nine eighths we're gonna shade in the whole entire thing because that's one eight eighths and then plus one more until we reach nine eighths. So we're just gonna shade in one of this. Now we're gonna do nine eighths equals nine or eight times. We're gonna first split it in half horizontally. So that's two sections now. So times two on both sides, which is 18 over 16 that are shaded. That means in total we have, I kind of go this part. 18 out of 16, which is this whole thing. All right, and now over here, let's draw eighths again. So again, we're gonna shade in this whole thing to represent eight eighths, and then one of this, cause we need to add one eighth to make nine eighths. So now we have nine over eight equals, um, we're gonna separate this into two lines. So now we have three sections. So we're gonna multiply each number by three so now we have 27 over 24 uh, shaded. Okay. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel.